All right, y'all, let's do this. Longo here to talk to you about how to find the area of kites and rhombi. Um, the formula to find the area of a kite and a rhombus is half diagonal one times diagonal two. So rhombus, remember, it also has the base times height because it is a parallelogram, but due to the fact that it has perpendicular diagonals, just like a kite, it can also use that same formula. So, half diagonal one times diagonal two. If we cut this kite into two pieces, like this, we have a top triangle, and we have the bottom triangle. So, if this whole thing is D1, that's technically the base of a triangle. And then this guy right here would be the height of a triangle. So we all remember that back I talked about triangles comes from cutting a quadrilateral in half. Well, in this case, if we think about it, this is one half the base times the height. And this is one half the base times the height. So if we're just going to be using the diagonals, just look, the height is just half of the other diagonal. That's it. So that's why if we were to just take two of the triangles and put it together, we would have base times height, but the height is half of one of the diagonals. And then you have your diagonal two, which would be your base. So that's how you come up with the formula half of diagonal one times diagonal two, because you can split a rhombus or a kite into two triangles. So that's all you really need to know. So just make sure when you're working with rhombi and kites that you have the full diagonal. So in this rhombus, you have to remember one of your properties of a rhombus is that the diagonals bisect each other. So that becomes 12 and this becomes 8. So to apply this, all you have to do is 1 half of the full diagonal 16 times the other full diagonal 24. Multiply those guys together, and you end up with 192 meters squared. All right, that's it. It's plain and simple. All you have to do is multiply the two diagonals, cut it in half. So this guy right here, you have to remember, if it's a kite, that one of our diagonals is 12, the other is 8. So 1 half of 12 times 8 is going to give us 48 inches squared. Now the last one is a little bit of a challenge. Reason why? We don't have the other diagonal. We also don't have a height. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to draw in your other diagonal, but since a rhombus has perpendicular diagonals and cuts it in half, we know that that 6 just got split to 3 and 3, and we just created a right triangle. So we can just call this guy B and do the Pythagorean theorem. 3 squared plus B squared is equal to 5 squared. After you solve using the Pythagorean theorem, you'll find out that it's 4 for B. So this guy is 4 and this guy is 4. So now you have both diagonals and you're ready to answer this question. So all you have to do now is 1 half of the full diagonal 6 times the other full diagonal 8 and you end up with 24 centimeters squared. All right, that's it, plain and simple. So of course, we're going to have to do a working backwards question. And as always, it just uses the formula. So the area of a kite is 1 half of diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So we have 48 as our area. And of course, we want to have 1 half. And one of our diagonals is 6. Find the other diagonal. So half of 6 is 3. D is equal to 48. Divide both sides by 3. And you end up with the other diagonal is 16 meters. So that's it for working with kites and rhombi. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you, bye.